Happy Fool Happy Fool Sasha Lorella and welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Foods 242 and today we are at Kwame Seafood House in the East. We're gonna have some food, we're gonna have some more food and we're gonna have some fun, fun, fun. Y'all let's go check it out. All right so now we're inside with Arnish Roxbury. She's the owner and chef here at Gourmet Seafood House. Now tell me Arnish, how did you even come up with that name? Firstly, I love everything gourmet. Mm -hmm. So everything high-end, fancy, elite. So that just was the perfect name for me. Okay. And I was inspired by Mahogany House in Ireland House. So okay. That's why not gourmet. And we predominantly sell seafood. Okay. So gourmet so, seafood house. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Put it all together, just like that. Now tell me a little bit about the stuff you serve. And you don't only do seafood. So give us an idea of the kinds of dishes you serve here at Gourmet Seafood House. So yes, we predominantly serve seafood, but we do not only do seafood. We expanded our menu some time back. We also offer like rack of lamb, steak, chicken, um, there's Cornish hen, but most of our items are high-end items. Mm -hmm. So it's more restaurant quality dishes. Mm -hmm. It's not more low-end items. So um, we would serve high-end restaurant quality dishes. That's and then on like Saturdays, I think it's my favorite, they do grills. <laughs> on Saturdays. Only grill, right? Only grill. Only grill on Saturdays, so y'all gotta make sure to check them out. Say, Sasha sent me on Saturday. It's grilled grouper, grilled lobster. Y'all know I'm a Kung fan. I love Kung. I love Kung in many ways. So grilled Kung. So you guys do everything. And then I saw yes. on, y'all can go check out an IG. I saw y'all do jerk too? Yes, we did. So when we expanded the menu, we of mm -hmm. course we have to start thinking about the meat lovers as well. Mm -hmm. So we added jerk pork chop, we also have jerk chicken, sometimes we do jerk steak as well. And um, we are going to be introducing the jerk wrap of them very soon. And those, your jerk sauce, you make that in-house? Yes, we do. That's our special sauce. I can try, see if I can find out what all in that, y'all. But don't count on me. Don't count on it. So tell, tell us what days you open, the times you open, and how people could find you. Well, we're open Tuesday to Saturday at the moment we do intend to start opening on sundays mm -hmm. yes you heard it here first we will soon be opening on sundays guys uh, but tuesday to saturdays from 12 to 8 30 p.m that's that's a long time yes so is. even after work you don't have nothing to cook for your husband or your kids you stop right there and get your food right here 12 12 to 8 30 8 30 p.m tell people where you located we are located on the main prince charles drive if you're heading east we will be exactly two buildings after Doris Johnson Senior High School. So there's Doris Johnson, there's the Seventh Day Church, then we are in that next plaza, yellow and white, Gourmet Seafood House, Roadside View. Now you all heard us say Prince Charles, I'm not an East person. You know, plenty of y'all live out there in the East, but if you want to come and get some really good food, you all have to come and make that track. I had to, I track, but I come in on Saturdays when the traffic is in a spot. Now that's actually a good question. Do you plan to maybe in the future expand to the west side? We have a or more lot. locations rather, just anywhere. We have a lot of things in the pipeline for Gourmet Seafood House. Just stay tuned. Be patient. Stay tuned. Trust All me, right. you heard it there first. Listen, as soon as that Gourmet Seafood House in the west, guess who could be there? Me. Me. But this is not a talking show, our needs. It's an eating show. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all know we're coming in the next segment. We about to cook up and then y'all see me eating. Stay tuned, you're watching Happy Foods 2, 4. Alright, so welcome back. You're still watching Happy Foods 2, 4, 2. We still at Gourmet Seafood House. We still got our niece with us and she has something like I just ready. I just ready to, you know, go in. So she's gonna be making several dishes for us. Y'all know how this works. We can show y'all a little bit because we want y'all to come. We don't want y'all 
to make these stuff at home. Come and support and um, make sure you all, you know, don't eat for no secrets, no secrets. So, Arnie, we doing a seafood lasagna. Yes. So, we have our secret seafood lasagna. And okay, I say secret. secret. No one knows exactly how this is made. Okay. This is totally something that I came up with on my own. Okay. And trust me, Sasha, this run the road. No, like run the road. Okay, all right. Okay, then. I'm glad Kenny ain't had a day, none for Kenny. Right. All right, so let's go. Let's start to assemble. Okay, so what we'll do here, we'll start with our sauce. Okay, so so looks... our filling has spinach. lobster, uh -huh. lump crab, uh -huh. shrimps, uh -huh. spinach, of course our special cheeses, and everything else that's good. So the base already has cheese, but then we add in more cheese. Yes, this is a cheesy dish. So yes. So we'll those are y'all who can't do dairy, the same for y'all. No, the same. Okay, so let's assemble. We got our lasagna yes. shit, um, pasta here. Yes. And we do have our baking dish, our glass okay. baking dish. So we'll firstly start with kind of wet in the bottom of the pan, is okay. what I call it. Okay. That's so your pasta doesn't stick. So at the bottom of the pan, you don't really have to get into all the meat and everything. Mm -hmm. no. You just want so some just of the juice. Exactly. So okay, we're okay. Just do this. Okay. And this is one of the hot sellers? It is. Oh, I, mean, I forget to say, run Literally the road. Literally is. It runs through. <laughs> Always run sold out. Always. Okay. I, I'm very excited about this, like very excited. Yes, so we put that down first. Okay. Right? Of course, so this is a smaller baking dish that mm -hmm. we would normally use. So of mm -hmm. course we had to go ahead and shave down the lasagna pasta a bit just to fit the baking dish. So the dish. whole dish is for me? Yes. I could take the whole thing. It's for you. Okay. If you didn't kind of want to go brag with it. Okay. <laughs> I just I just ask, I just ask them for clarity. I like clarity on the show. Clarity. <laughs> So this big, um, this dish would fit only three lasagna. Okay. Okay. Pass at a time. Okay. Okay. And our lasagna do have three layers. Okay. okay. I love that you put the sauce on the bottom. Yes. I, I, Make I me like no that. dry lasagna. Okay. No deal. And that's what ricotta. It is. It is ricotta, but of course we have a little special some some we throw in there as well. So yeah, and don't it's just plenty special. I think yeah, you get it's this. It's plenty <laughs> special. Secret it's special. It's a special special okay. something else. So that's right. the first layer. Yes, well, that's this is the first layer. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, technically so, that's the first layer. So we're gonna go inside. after with our ricotta. So I like to just put a little dab on each one. Okay. Then I'm gonna spray. Okay. Okay. Just spread. Some people don't like ricotta, but I love ricotta in my lasagnas. Love. It gives it a different. Yeah, know, it does give it. It'll exactly. give it a different, different flavor. And I realized you're sticking with wi a white base. It is. So, so our seafood lasagna is white. Okay. It is. But you can see we, we still put a little color on the end of that now. Okay, okay. I trust you. Okay. So that's our second um, okay. layer. So we're going to go ahead now with our... You are in the, the meat. Meat now, yeah. The yes. first layer of meat. We are. Okay, so we we'll to make sure you see this. This meat. I just gonna say okay. it ain't shredded, right? If we ain't playing it. Right. You know, imitation crab meat, imitation lobster. That's the real deal. Making sure the people All see. All right. Okay then. Okay. Okay. The spinach. It is. And I, I mean, Jay, y'all really have to make sure we get smell o vision, man. The smell, <laughs> like the smell already. I'm, I'm here for it. Oh, you and I mean it's a generous okay. okay. All right. You and call me see what else you know. You and really, you're not light. Okay, cool. On the hand. All right. So then we do a little bit, a little extra drizzle because I love my lasagna wet. I don't like. Oh, you don't dry. want it dry. Like, no, okay. No, 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 no. So you making sure all the yes, corners. Yes. Right. The last thing we do here is the cheeses. So of course we're gonna start off with our mozzarella. I thought you was gonna put the next layer. And then mm -hmm. just put it, so you put cheese, cheese through every... Cheese literally comes as the last thing on every layer. I'm really excited about this now, like extra yes. excited. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. And you and okay. you, I mean, you oh. being... Now we on our Parmesan. I mean, she was, you just put this in there just like that. And it actually cut and it's still when you over just like that. 
So now we're going for our next this, layer. Now we're on to the next layer. This is the second layer. Ooh. I, I, I can try this at home. I mean... It ain't gonna taste the same, but you can try it. <laughs> Y'all see how on it. She's just telling me it ain't gonna... She ain't slapping up. It ain't gonna taste the same. <laughs> Got you. You gotta come in for this one. Dan Ricardo. Yeah, so the same pattern again. You see how I watch you three. You all gotta count with nice. me. One, two, three. And then spread. Yes. This is a process. You say it's just like a personal band size, which we don't actually have in here. Okay. So y'all, she's doing this specially for me. Exactly. Don't ask for this when you come here. <laughs> you have to get the regular portion. Yes. The regular customer portion. And then let me help you. I, yes. I want to do this part. I want to feel like I want to feel like you could feel the meat in here. Woo. So I just straight across, right? Yes, go across each one, each one of your Okay, each one. Each one, of, okay. Exactly. Make sure I'll put some extra lobster shrimp. <laughs> I feel bad for like people who have allergies when it comes to seafood. Like, I, I really do. I hate to be them. Y'all can't even come here. Mm -mm. Y'all just have to go to the other places. They can't really do nothing. They yeah. can't enjoy food. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's not really the kind of life you want to live. Make sure you get them corners. Yep. And I love that the spinach is incorporated into this. So while it's a lot of calories you get your little veggie your little greens of course of course Definitely. i mean look at the ch it is I'm i want to do it. something but i ain't gonna do it i can be decent on this show <laughs> that right there so now you move on to your cheese you want to do some cheese okay like so, so you sprinkle your mozzarella mm -hmm. this this a this a lot of cheese yes and then there's cheese in the in the in the base, right? There is some, yes. There's a different type though. Lightly, go more light on your cheese, yeah. Because don't forget, we still have one more layer. I, on top of this? One more layer. That's only your second layer. You go ahead with the parmesan. Okay. I'll just sprinkle my parmesan lightly. Like Y'all, we still have one more layer. Nice and thick, though. So technically, right? Mm hmm. When we finish this, how many, how much, like, how much servings out of this pan? Okay, in this pan, because this is a small pan, if I cut it, the portion sizes, what I would normally serve, I'll probably get four out of this. Okay, you know, so two for me, down the middle, one we'll for Jay through. and one for Wellington. Yeah. <laughs> Wellington is on the set, y'all. Okay, and then so we're going to really be... Or record a next, right? Yes. Let me do this part, as I didn't do this one yet. So just a dollop and yes. spread, right? So one... This this is this is hearty. Yes. And what I like, Arnie, is that you don't you and not really I mean you don't like on your hand. I mean this when you finish eating this you gotta go yeah you people is coming out during the work day. Yeah. And get food from y'all. See the good thing is we serve it with a nice side salad, you know? <laughs> yeah, but that salad ain't gonna do nothing to me when I eat my <laughs> one portion portion of this. Cheese. So are we there now? Another we layer. To the next layer, yes. Oh, We're gonna wow. do this layer a little thinner because you know we reach kind of the top of top, the pan. Right. Yeah. Oh, so so my up. last layer really can just have the cheeses on top. Yes, that's it. This, so the cheese is literally gonna be the final thing. Okay, okay, yes, okay, okay. That's how it is. So almost like how you would do a pizza. Right. right. Exactly. You know lasagna is the same family. I mean, we could just end the show right here. I don't really have to see nothing else, to be honest. I mean, this right here is a lot. This right here, I mean, and then if, like, Jay could get a, like, zoom in, Jay, on the pan to the bottom. Like, how everything's souping together. Yep. Is this on the menu every day? No, it's not. So the good thing about us is our customers never get boring okay. from our menu because okay. we literally have daily menus. Okay. So you can right, only right. find I noticed seafood that. lasagna on a one, one second. Okay. You can only find seafood lasagna on a Tuesday. Okay. Trust me, that WhatsApp game on point. <laughs> that WhatsApp game, once you, once you sign up for the little broadcast, whoo, you can get the broadcast. 
some Mildaya. I see yes. I want plenty of cheese. Yes. I love cheese. So this will be our final layer. Okay. okay. So catch, catch your little corner right, right That's what I do on this side. Mm -hmm. Making sure I catch these little... Other side of the... Wow. Yeah. So yes. This is where we're at. But it still doesn't stop there. We don't do that. If you know anything about Gourmet Seafood House, presentation is everything to me. Okay. So I'm always going to do a little razzle-dazzle, you know, for okay. the top there. Yeah. So, it's my own secret Cajun sauce. Okay. Like I said, it's secret because it's mixed by myself. So, <laughs> I created okay. this. <laughs> yes. This is my special mix. What I'm putting it on is... So I can't buy that in the food store. Not yet. You need to start selling it. Very soon. Selling it from here. Very soon. We have so much more things in the pipeline. Trust me, Sasha. Plenty okay. Things. That means we're coming back. <laughs> that means we will be back at another location. I'm yeah. putting that in. I'm speaking okay. it into the atmosphere. What these are, um, these additional shrimps, we always save a few shrimps left behind. Okay. And we would slice it in half. Yes, so it isn't okay. so thick. Okay. Just for the top for garnish, okay? Okay. We put on it directly on like I said, this should make about four. Okay. So each room, each um, on piece a section. Will have one. Exactly. Okay, got you. So we put it right to the top of the cheese. Of course, last but not least, uh, put a little parsley. So you put in the parsley on before it goes into the oven. Yes. Okay. So Arnie's just gonna take care of that. When you all see it again, it'll be done. I'll probably be eating for it, but we can show you all some more dishes. And then after we show you all some more dishes, it's eating time. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. All right, so now we go in straight into the next dish. Some grilled group and I ask, you all know how I feel about Kong. Nonetheless, we going with the grouper. It's the grilled group of the day. But you do grill Kong, grill grouper, Grill lobster, grill shrimp, grill shrimp and com combos. We do grilled snapper as well. Okay, so all of that stuff. So, but we yes. focus in on the grill grouper today. Yes. All right, so walk me through some of the steps. I see some grouper steaks. I see some plantain, corn, onion, all the staples. Yes. Yeah, so you know our grills have all of the goodies inside of it. We don't mm -hmm. give you no boring grill. Okay. So of course our grill has a combination. We have plantains, fresh corn, we have sweet potato, we have the orange yam. Okay. We also have cassava, cassava. Inside, of our, inside of our grills. Of course with lime, pepper and all the other good combinations that make it what it is. Okay. All right. So um, like we said today we're going to be doing some grilled grouper. This is one of our most popular grill. The grouper? Group. Over the conk? They hand in hand. It's literally hand in hand. So our yeah. grouper is almost like boiled fish, but with another kick to it. So they love it even right. more so. No boiled fish wouldn't have anything in it. Yeah. But imagine your boiled fish with all these other components that make it even better. So okay. grilled grouper is definitely a staple in here. Like, um, as you would have mentioned, the conch is also a staple. So they go yeah. hand, in hand. hand in hand. But all right. of our grills actually are top sellers. Top sellers. All. Sell out on Saturday. Every single day. And like I said, you all heard me say, grill is Saturday. Saturdays, you want your grill, come on Saturday. Yes. All right, take us through the steps of making this awesome grill group up. Okay, so definitely we're going to start off with our water, our boiling pot of water. Okay. Question. Mm -hmm. So you don't do the foil thing? No. You do it all stove top? Stove top. Our seafood grills are stove top. We do, not do, the, we do not do the, the foil thing at all. Okay. Yes. All right. So we start off with that. Now, this isn't just plain water. If you look in here, our veg are already pre-boiled. Okay. So this would be the water that it was already boiling in. Yes. Yeah, so the water will already be flavored. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and um, add some onions. That's why it's be so much juice. Yes. That's why Definitely. I have more rice, Honey. <laughs> You're giving me all this gravy. Annie's giving me all this gravy on. With one little container of rice. I need more rice because it's so much gravy. Sasha, you That's get more. You get more rice. Okay. Okay. More <laughs> so we're gonna go here. We're gonna add in our onions. 
We love onion tea, you know, we love the flavor yeah, that onions bring. Yeah, yes. Big, I'm gonna put a little more. Grilled. Definitely. Yeah. Put it there. And we're gonna go ahead and add back all of our um okay, so I can bring yes, this a definitely. To help you a little bit. Not only things that are not pre boiled, it's plantains and the fresh corn. Is oh. that because they don't take long? They don't take long. Okay. I'm gonna keep them nice. And this is one serving? Yes. We only don't one serving today. Okay. So our onions, then our veg. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, is it easy? Do you use like the um, farm fresh products or is it because you're doing so much mm -hmm. mass, is it harder to get from local farmers? Yes, it is harder. So we would normally just go to the wholesalers and get okay. cases. Okay. We will go by the cases just based on, you know, the quantity that we right, actually right. sell. Yeah. We would love to just do farm fresh, but farm fresh, yeah. it isn't always. So what I'm adding here is just a little bit of lime juice, okay. real lime juice. Okay. So you squeeze that yourself? Yes. We also have some additional lime, mm -hmm. but it's to taste. Okay. So after everything starts boiling up, we, we take, exactly. And of course, I always put a whole stick as well. Okay. All right? And so that's just, always for flavor. Exactly. All of that is flavor. Anis, I'm very, I'm very intrigued by this. this. Is that curry? No, it's actually not. And then I'm not going to tell you neither. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the only seasoning that we put inside it. The only seasoning that Let goes inside of our grill. No. Big no. <laughs> but <laughs> so we're gonna be sprinkling some of this. That's what gives it the color too. Oh you, you, yes. You, you, you grill, on, you see, you know, it has a certain grip. I can call it the grip, maybe <laughs> the technical chef y'all probably call it grip. But that's what probably gives it the color as well. I have to figure that out. Plenty. Plenty. And we're literally just gonna let this boil up okay. until that brings forth all of those flavors. And we don't like to overcook any of our meat. You know, we only do seafood, so we're not gonna add in the grouper right away. We're right. gonna let that boil up good first. And seafood generally exactly. doesn't take long to cook. And the longer you cook grouper, the tougher it gets. It does get tough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let Arnie's finish off the rest of that. She has some lobster salad for us and she has, what else you have for us? Some seafood stuffed oh, salmon. Seafood stuffed salmon. So y'all will see some footage of her putting all of those things together. But when we come back, y'all know what I like to say, this is not a talking show, this is an eating show. Stay tuned, you're watching Happy Foods too. Did you miss most of this week's show? Make sure to visit our YouTube channel to see everything from Happy Foods at Happy Foods Bahamas. So welcome back. You're still watching Happy Foods 242. We still with our niece, our niece. I can't even. Whew. I just want. Okay, so let's start here. Tell me what I have in front of me, and we're gonna slowly make our way towards the end of the table. Okay. Let's start here. So we're starting with the lobster salad. It's our famous lobster salad. Nice chunky pieces of meat, and it's served with shrimp topping. So that's two pieces of Cajun shrimp at the top with tri-color pasta and a green mixed salad. There's a whole meal. Yes. That's how it's served. Mm. You know what I like? I taste in the chunks of lobster and it's limey. I like my salad's limey, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is not every day. This is also a Tuesday menu. And so Tuesdays, it's a lobster salad. I need y'all to give them all your social media information. Perfect time to do that. So definitely you can find us on Facebook, Gourmet Seafood House. We, we're also found on Instagram at Gourmet Seafood House as well. Yeah. And on TikTok, 
We're new to TikTok, but we've been making a staple on TikTok. So Gourmet Seafood House on all of our media. So Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. You can find us. Now remember, I was telling you all about all the gravy. Look at all the gravy in this thing. I, I don't, I'm too afraid to lift it up because I, it's so much. And then this little piece of rice. But Anis was saying it's supposed to be like soup. So, this dish. Talk to me about this dish. Okay, so this is our famous grilled grouper. It has all of the veg inside it. Um, inside of it, so that's cassava, that's sweet plantains. We have sweet potatoes. It's sweet, a sweet potato for and me. The white. And you also have some fresh corn, along with you know fresh pieces of grouper, seasoned with lime, thyme, and all the good stuff that we love in our grilled food. And it's served with a side of jasmine white rice. You know what I like? I like that all your food is limey. I love lime. People underestimate the power of lime. And fresh lime. And fresh lime, and it's yes. so good. All you need is a little bit of juice, and some of this rice. Good stuff. I don't want to get too much into it because then y'all will see me work. <laughs> this one right here, now I need to turn this around because I need y'all to see. I need y'all to see. What, what do we have before us here, um, Anish? This is a staple at Gourmet Seafood House. This is our seafood stuffed salmon mm -hmm. that everyone loves. It does not last in this kitchen at all. Okay. So it's stuffed with um, three different seafood. That's lobster, shrimp, and also lump crab meat, along with other mixtures, of course. And with your start. secret seasoning. And our secret seasoning, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, there's a lot of secrets that we're not going to let Lots of today. secrets, <laughs> lots of secrets. I'm just going to get a little bit of the stuffing. Now people have probably heard me say this, you all know how I feel about cooked salmon. I ate a lot of it in school. Not too much of a fan, but I can try a little piece. Well, the, the season. We, we cook this on the stove top. Oh, we put it in the oven. Oh. Full. Oh. That's good. That's really good. I have to have another little piece. It's tender, right? It is tender. Okay, we only serve our salmon medium. That's some good, that's some good salmon right there. I might come back. What day is for this one? The seafood sub salmon is on Wednesdays, I must say, order early, pre order. Because the seafood stuff salmon, no matter how much salmon we have, it runs out the door. Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday. Yes. You all heard on you say it. Order early Wednesday. This one will Wednesday. Yes. And then this bad boy right here. This 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 the one I go in. I go in harm on this one. <laughs> the t tell the people what it is. So this is a seafood lasagna. I feel like I need my spoon again. That's what I want. Seafood lasagna. So um, of course we have two different types of lasagna. We have the beef lasagna. That's very, very popular as well. And mm -hmm. this is a seafood lasagna. And the seafood lasagna has three different seafood in it as well. That's lobster, crab meat, and shrimp as well. And it's served in more, more of an Alfredo sauce. And, and it's very popular as well. It's a Tuesday dish. This is amazing. The cheese, it's so much cheese. For those of you who can't have seafood or dairy, they're seeing it. The same for you. Oh my God, this is amazing. And you know what it is too? I remember when you put the sauce to the bottom. Yes. <laughs> Keeps it ni mm -hmm. nice and moist, wet. So you get your little side salad. Yes, and a, your slice of garlic bread. Most of our meals, we tend to either um, offer some type of veg or green okay. inside. So we always try to have a balance. After they don't give you all <laughs> Yes. Of all the calories with the seafood. We have all the hardiness, but right. at least you, you know, you feel better. You had a little salad. See, and what you could do with the bread is you take some of that sauce from the lasagna. Yes. Mmm, 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 mmm. How you feeling now? I'm feeling good. Okay, good. I'm feeling good. Um, Anis, please tell people what days you open, what times you open, and where you're located. So, of course, once again, we're open Tuesday to Saturday, currently. We are located on the main Prince Charles Drive that's heading east. We're two buildings down from Doris Johnson Senior High School on the left-hand side. Yellow and white plaza, roadside view. We're open from 12 p.m. Tuesday to Saturday, 12 to 8.30 p.m. 
fun for ready. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, this, this, I don't even need the pasta. What you should do is, you do, you offer catering? Yes, Because that's do. a good question. Tell us, how, how does that work? Like if yes, they want to have a do. party or... We they offer wanna... catering. We're actually, right now, for the rest of the year, we're kind of booked. Okay. Because we've been very busy with okay. catering um, okay. jobs. Of course, if you're interested in catering, you can just hit us up on our um, Gmail. That's gourmetseafoodhouse at gmail.com for your catering inquiries. There is a turnaround time, about five to seven business days. Okay? So gourmetseafoodhouse at gmail.com for all your catering needs. And um, we definitely want or need advance notice for a function. Okay. I got to stop eating so I can talk. You know what you could do with that? Just sell them. Minus the pasta. It's a saucy. Yeah, like a, like a gourmet seafood house. Spinach dip, cause spinach in it. Yeah. Like a seafood and then like, when people have their football and their the gather. And stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good idea. That's a really good now idea. Now I want 5%. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so y'all heard Annie's talk about all, and there's so many things on the menu. You got chicken, yes. You got jerk. They do lamb. Y'all do pasta. We do. We do panini pasta. And listen to me. I'm so sorry that I didn't go ahead and give you all a sample of the panini pasta today. Don't worry about that. But most of the Bahamas knows of it because mm -hmm. our panini pasta is a staple here. Um, our panini pasta is really good. We have seafood panini pasta. We have rack of lamb, steak, the works. For our Listen, y'all just need to come to Gourmet Seafood House. She's already tell you where they located. Tuesdays to Saturdays. Eventually, they may think about opening up on Sundays, Sundays but for now, Tuesdays to Saturdays. And when they open that location out west, because I'm speaking it in the PA, I will be the first one there. Definitely. Annie, if you have outdone yourself, the food is amazing. And let me also say this the kitchen was clean. You will never ever get to see the kitchen because of that setup. It's more like a takeout style, but that's what I all, that's the first thing I try to look for with places where people don't get to really come inside the establishment. The kitchen was spectacular. So make sure you all come down to Gourmet Seafood House. It's Happy Foods 242 approved. Annie, so you have to do it with me now. We closing out the show, so don't put up five. Okay. Don't put out six. I'm good, I got this. Don't do seven. Yep. All right, so we done. Ani says un out done herself. You just watched another exciting episode of Poppy Foods. What?